Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to connect a diagnostic harness to the new 2026 Tesla Model Y Juniper using the OBD Link MX Plus, which is this device right here. So if you've been struggling to find the right plug location or you just want real battery health stats like SOH, cell imbalance, or usable kilowatt hours, this is the video for you. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First thing you're gonna do is go into the settings, click safety, scroll down to the bottom, and click power off. Now the vehicle's powered off. So this is where most people get this wrong. The diagnostic port on the 2026 uh, Model Y Juniper is actually located in the passenger footwell. So in order to remove that panel, you might need a trim tool or you can use your hand. So first thing we're gonna do on the passenger side is pull back this weather stripping, pull it all the way back, okay, to right here. You can see this. And then you can use your trim tool or your hands to pull this plastic piece off and pop this out just like that. Okay, pop that off, put that to the side. Then it's also helpful to use this plastic trim tool right here to remove this plastic clip. So once you pop that out just like that, remove that plastic clip, put it off to the side, you no longer need the trim tool. I recommend reaching down here next to the passenger seat, getting your thumb in here, just pulling up. There's some plastic clips under here. Pull up and out towards you. That's how you remove that piece. I already had the harness connected, but I'm gonna show you where I connected it. There's gonna be an empty connector here where you plug one into the Sensotec into and the other end of the Sensotec harness plugged in line with the vehicle harness right here. Um, this is the plug right here that unplugs from uh, down here. And then you plug the Sensotec in line with that original vehicle harness. You get your OBD Link MX Plus connect it here and then you could either sit in the driver's seat or you can push on the foot brake and the car will turn back on then you open your scan my tesla app and you can get real live battery data and that's basically it everything just goes back in reverse order now i have everything put back into place you can just leave this here when you're done with it, you can unplug it. After unplugging it, you can just leave the Sensotec harness tucked away just like that. And whenever you want to use the OBD MX Plus uh, reader, you just plug it in. Here's a quick look at the Scan My Tesla app on iPhone. Uh, here's some of the data you can pull from your Tesla using this app. Currently, it's about $10 in the App Store. Today is July 17, 2025. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Let me know in the comment section how I can improve my videos and maybe uh, give me some video suggestions if you want. Thank you.